Well, I'm Olson Henry 2, Foxtrot Tango Golf, and this thing here is a 24 GHz transceiver, or well, now only a transmitter because the, even if there is a nice IF, B, and C, the IF is not connected. We have two banana plug inputs for DC, there's a regulator inside, two of those power LED, frequency fine tuning, and a big horn on 24 GHz. So let's plug it in. Now it's plugged in. I used bananas so I can use normal lab cables. I'm feeding it to 13 volts and it's sipping at 160 milliamps. Some goes to the lead, but most going to the horn. So let's point it at this VR62 because, well, that's what I have here. So now we are on the approximately right polarization. A couple into it. Yep, very professional. So, when we look at the spectrum analyzer, we have a peak here. Let's use peak search. So we jump there, and we are on 23.94. Oh, we are just out of band. Let's trim, let's trim it a bit and see if we can push it back into band. Okay, so I trimmed it here up to the limit, and I'm on... A 23.9893 gigahertz, so I'm slightly below what I'd want to be at. So yeah, I'll have to, I might have to mechanically tune it to some uh, new center frequency. Because we can go, go, go down in frequency, but not up. If I adjust it down. Down it goes. The full scale would require 22 volts of tuning voltage, which we not don't really have here. We have, I think we have six or ten. There's an LM317 there, but yeah, we went 30 megahertz down. So not a huge amount. We might have to tune it mechanically a bit too go up, but it's getting late, so that's some other episode, but now I have an almost usable, almost fully completed 24 gig transceiver. I also have a capacitor inside there for the tuning voltage, so that I can uh, then add a microphone amplifier inside it and a mic input and a PTT. There's still space on the front panel, so I should be able to put one somewhere here because there's space inside here. These are for two voltage regulators inside here. I'm doing the first the 11, 10, whatever volt tuning voltage from the raw in DC input. And then I'm using that to feed the 5 volt generation also with an LM317. And that gets us the tuning volt, the main voltage for the gun oscillator. We might also have to. It might just be that it's low in voltage, like I accidentally I have some. When I did measure it, it was like 4.98, which is more or less 5 volts, so I'm not gonna com complain about that much. But, well, we'll revisit this on this on some future episode. episode. Just one quick thing to do. It's a decent way to have at least something on 24 gigs. And after I have a modulation input for it, I can do other stuff for it. The IF input is gonna be not DC connected, but gonna have uh, 202, 220 picofarads in parallel with one nanofarad, so it should w work okay on HF for low IF like 30 or 28 megahertz, and also for 2 meters and 70 centimeters okay ish. We are limited by the diode in the Macom gunplexer here. That's what determines our IF, and we will likely really need an IF amplifier. Which we might add on some future date there, but that's also a future episode. It would have been nice to have a, like a nice multi-turn pot here for the frequency, but I didn't have any on stock here at the Gaudian Amateur Radio Club, or at least I didn't find any, so we are not using any. But now I'm gonna close up shop and clean after myself a bit and then go home. This was Ocean Henry 2, Foxtrot Tango Golf.